what's going on everybody welcome back to another mb heritage farm video today this one's going to be a little bit different we're going to be talking about freedom sticks ammo and we're going to talk about why we went powderless on our homestead now guns and ammo and things of that nature is not something that we normally talk about here on our channel i'd much rather talk about chickens and show you guys how to grow your own food there are many other channels right here on youtube that cover these subjects so good I feel like I don't need to really be doing it, but it is something that we do use here on our homestead. We have a lot of tools. We have things we do to help us get food, survive, protect our home, and things of that nature. So today, I thought I would talk to you guys about why we went powderless on our homestead. What I mean by going powderless on our homestead is not buying ammunition that uses gunpowder or any type of ammunition that requires ignition main reason for anyone to want to go powderless and go down this avenue is simply because if there ever is an ammo shortage or tom joe dick or harry somewhere else decides that you yourself can't buy ammo anymore we're not really going to have to worry about it too much the stuff that we're buying that comes out of our barrels we can actually start saving scrapping them melting them down and pouring them again so with having options of making your own ammo, it's a no-brainer, guys. Why would you not at least have options just in case? There's nothing wrong with having your normal freedom sticks around. There's nothing wrong with having other options when you can't get your normal ammunition. Come on, guys. Let's show you what I'm talking about. Now the specific gun that I'm talking about today is the Inert Gas Technology Piston. Some folks call it a Nitro Piston. These are brake barrel guns and a lot of people are saying that these type of guns are the bridge between CO2, multi-pump, and revolutionary powder. So this is the type of rifle we got. We did purchase it from Gamo USA and we're gonna talk about it today. All right guys, this is the Swarm Fusion Magnum. This is the 22 caliber, by the way. Usually they use these color bands to identify different calibers. I also have the neon green military silencer wrap that just hasn't come in yet. I also got the bipod from Gamma. I chose the military soft wrap. I'm not really happy with the way these things clamp down on the barrel. There's no rubber grommets in there, so once you get it in its place and it's fixed down permanently, the more you use it, the more it's gonna scratch and tear up your barrel. Uh, the difference with this wrap is uh, this is an under wrap military style, but this just means that you'll have a more loose left and right, which I tend to like a whole lot better. This thing also does come with the 10 shot magazine, so you get 10 shots before you have to stop and load it again. Or you can buy these little magazines separately. They're like 10 to 13 bucks, and you can go ahead and preload a bunch before you go have some fun. It also does come with the, not pre-mounted, but it does come with a 3 by 9 by 40 scope. This is a pretty uh, decent scope. My recommendation is go ahead and get you another one because after somewhere around 75 to 100 shots, this thing seems to have to be readjusted, which you can do. Uh, here is your up and down, and over here is your left and right adjustments. It also has the synthetic double lock safety, forward is fire, and back safety is on. This is the Magnum version Gen 3, but it is the 1300 feet per second. I absolutely love this thing. Now we're not going to be doing any hunting today or in this video, but you can find quite a few videos of guys using this exact version the gen 3 for hawk hunting and anything 30 yards and under this thing is an absolute beast with the right shot placement of course but uh this thing is really really impressive okay so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what i feel like is a necessity when you buy uh one of these awesome little guns and uh i'm also going to show you some of my favorite ammo all right, so here we are. I'm pretty sure I got this from the same place. Maybe not, I will check and see, but uh, I will leave it in the link in the description. But this is a gun cleaning kit for these air rifles. You definitely need these. Everything in here you need to clean the gun except for the oil, which is another necessity that you're gonna have. So I like to use CLP oil on any type of firearm. Uh, this is some of the best stuff for inside and out. Great stuff, man. I really, really do like it. And this stuff, this bottle right here is pretty cheap. This is somewhere between 12 and 20 bucks. Next up, you're going to need some quality ammo. You might as well go to the source that made 
um, your piece here, right? I mean, they make awesome products and they make awesome ammo. So some of my favorite cheap stuff to practice around with is their Magnums. And as you can see, this is a 22. But these things are a lot of fun. They pack a really hard punch. This is my favorite of all. This is the Gamma Rocket. They like to call these the armor piercing. We're going to show you exactly how those work. This is more of their hunting type pellet. These are for extreme accuracy and also they have a ballistics tip. Um, these little things are awesome if you have rodent or pest problems. So we're going to go ahead and show you what they do. Okay, so what we're going to be using today to uh, test this ammo out is some contractor's metal siding. This stuff is pretty strong. Uh, we're either going to put dits in it or we're going to annihilate it and put holes in it. And uh, we're going to set it up somewhere way out there we're going to try to measure out roughly now guys roughly around 100 yards All right y'all here we are we're back on the back deck and way out there the little white dot it's not that little that's a pretty big piece of contractor's metal but anyway that's what we're going to be shooting at from here uh, i'm pretty sure that's well over 100 yards i'm not looking for accuracy today uh, i'm not going to worry about putting up a target or showing you guys shot pattern today i'm just going to show you the ammo and uh, see how much power and penetration we can get from 100 yards or more. We're going to go ahead and take our first shot. This is red fire ammo. For those of you that are wondering, uh, Ivanez has already been put up. There's no chickens, animals, or humans in the way um, to get harmed in any way. All right, y'all, let's get to having some fun. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. So we do have a tire behind it. So, uh, but this is all the way through. Each and every shot's all the way through. All right, and here's another piece of the ballistic tips. So uh, the red fire will penetrate metal too. So we'll go ahead and go to the next set of ammo. This is going to be with Gamma Rockets. Okay, so when your magazine is empty, all you have to do is just pull this little green clip right here. Your magazine pops loose, and we'll go fill it up. Okay, so when your magazine's empty, you have a wheel here that you got access to with your thumbs. This is a locking mechanism. So what you want to do is you turn your wheel until it, you know, obviously both of the slots line up. You take your pellet. The head of the pellet goes in. The butt is up. And then all you have to do is take the wheel, spin it around, use the locking mechanism, do its job, it stops it from spinning around. That'll hold it in place until you get your other pellet out. And you just keep doing the same process until you have the clip full of 10 rounds. All right, so our clip is back in. All right, guys, so let's look at the group in here. Here is the five shots here is the red fire. So all the red fire went through over here. The gamma rockets, those are the armor piercing. Uh, every one of those went through. And the magnums, as you can tell, we have uh, every one of those went through. Okay, folks, so there you have it. And that's at well over 100 yards for this little 22 nitro brake barrel. Now, this is a great option in so many different ways. You could swap this out for a dispatch weapon if you guys are trappers. 
You can save a lot of ammo that way. It works great. I'm not trying to say that this 22 caliber is exactly the same and just as good as a regular powder 22 caliber, but I can tell you, you already seen results from 100 yards away. Anything within 100 yards and closer ranges. Now there's not just the 22 caliber. They go 45 all the way up. There's even a 50 cal. And every one of these are compressed air. None of these calibers I'm talking about are powder weapons or need any type of ignition for the ammo to fire. It's all compressed air. So you guys go check out some of these nitro brake rails and the PCP guns. Those things are pretty awesome too. Thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you again on the next video.